Welcome to the Site Cabin Podcast, episode 20! Yeah. Yay. I need a bit more enthusiasm than yes, that. I did actually say that yeah. all <laughs> early on today. It didn't actually go off properly. Let's just do another one. Sorry, Sol. Oh, these, no, these are like dodgy. Try one. You try one, Dan. You get, them, get them from... Um, I got them from the shop on the estate. You, um, they're they're rubbish, me. aren't they? Oh, that's, that's good. a good one. That's good. Oh, bad. Mm-hmm. Episode 20. Yeah. Yeah. Episode 20, Dan. I know. We're also live on TikTok. We are. We but are. there's only me and Danny mic'd up tonight. So um, if you are listening to us live on TikTok, it's, it's the recording of episode 20. Uh, you'll be able to watch it in about a week's time. Probably on, well, all of our platforms. YouTube, Spotify, Apple, blah, 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 blah. When was the last time we recorded? Uh Six, six weeks, weeks ago. Six weeks. Six weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Lots gone on in six weeks. Lots yeah. gone on. What have we all been up to, Danny? What have you been up to? Six weeks? Uh, nothing. Been been doing a bit of work. Um, Boring. Doing a lot on the house. Got Boring. a building inspector coming around next week. Next week? Yeah. yeah. What's he coming around for? Uh, checking the footings. Nice. So well, have you dug the not footings? Not dug them. Pre-footings, then he'll come in after. So he's going to... Um, Check check what we're allowed to do. The depth. Yeah, you know, he's sound. It's like good bloke. High peak, innit? They don't give a fuck. Up High there. peak. Yeah, they don't really care. You can, there, it's the only place in the <laughs> only only tip in the country that I know where you can take bags of asbestos and just what, <laughs> Danny? You, you, it's obviously it's, it's hazardous waste. That yeah, no, you've got to bag it up, but you can drop it off legally in yeah. the tip. Yeah, they've got Act, plaster boards. Everyone else, I know that you have to get you have to get like a pass, don't you? You have to get a pass yeah. to go to the tip. Actually, know? I, I remember, don't give a fuck. When they I remember that. when uh, my ex-wife moved houses, she did, yeah. and um, you know, even though she's my ex-wife, we have a good relationship, yeah. and uh, she had this big double fridge, and didn't know what to do with it. And you said. Take no, we, Danny, up. we took it up to Buxton in the Take van. It to we, <laughs> in, the, in the works van. We took it in the works van. van. Yeah. I genuinely I, believe you could get rid of a dead body up there. Yeah. Like, just, just put it in some carpet. In case anyone's, you know. Yeah, those lads are great up there at Buxton. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. sound. Okay. So in case anyone's thinking of that. So so six weeks, just working on the house. Working on the house. Been doing a bit of work as well, you know, earning a bit of money. But then just, just been working on the house, yeah. pottering around. Not really much. Not, no, I can't think of anything that I've done. Andy? Uh, did a bit on mum's bathroom for her finish. You know, she's got finished off her bathroom. Yes, mum. Shout um, out to mum. She's just had a hip operation. She has. Yes, yeah, she's doing well. <laughs> she's doing well. Doing well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, watched Squid Game for the first time. I know ah. that's weird. How did that pass you I by? Don't know. It's just I was off one week and was doing stuff. He came up to me the other day. He's like, "That Squid Game's brilliant. You've done a match. It's and it's been out two years. It's great. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Second it was. series out in January. I think. Yeah. Or, yeah. No, it's Christmas. Boxing yeah. Day, I think, it comes yeah. out. Is it? Yeah, yeah. What was your favourite game within Squid Game? It's the glass uh, bridge, and they have got to jump onto panels, yes. and one of them's going to be a dodgy one that goes yes. through, and the other ones are toughened. Yeah, and it's, it's well, really good. It's funny Very you good. mention this. The kids were playing Roblox last night. And Which, by the way, all kids play at the moment. All play, yeah. I I'm worried about them. pedos, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> right. No, it's, 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 it's a genuine concern. Because all the children seem to be playing this Roblox. Oh, do you mean they all the have chat groups? They all play all Roblox. Stuff. It's all, yeah. Right, but, right. The, you know. The scary thing is on Roblox. Uh, so oh, that's li- through my holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Little Lynn was playing it last night. And I, I kept hearing this. Red light, green light. Oh, and, yeah. like, oh, watch yeah. and then when I watched it, so it was the actual game from uh, Squid Game, and the, their character was just getting shot by guns. And I was a bit like, oh, it's she's a bit seven. It's a bit for... too much for this. Mm, I know what you mean. So nah. I stopped her from playing it. And that's on Roblox? Yeah. Because there's different yeah. games on Roblox that they play basically. Oh, there's loads. It? It's great. Do but... we sound dead old now? Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. Don't Jack, know. what have you been up to the last six weeks? Uh... Not too much working. Uh, I smashed my car up. Smashed his car up. Yeah. 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 Really, that's uh, it. There's a famous uh, traffic calming area because I've yeah, driven down here. We yeah. mean Danny have. Yeah. He's in Altrincombe, and it's a nightmare. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it, it traffic is, calming. It's not. It's, it's scary. on the way to Altrincombe Tip. Yeah, it's on the way yeah. to Altrincombe Tip, and you turn the corner, and you're like, you go over a bridge, you go, oh, and you have to turn left to go out the other, yeah. the other side of the the bollard. Was you going too fast, it. Jack? No, if anything, I was going too slow. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More I damage. I wasn't aggressive enough. Yeah, yeah, more damage to the car. Yeah. So Jack's fucked his car up. You've just been chilling. Andy's watched Squid Game. Yeah. 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 What have you been up yeah. to? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I was. I was wondering. <laughs> I was going to wonder. Who's going to ask? I was me? genuinely wondering. Yeah. Is anyone going to ask me what I've been up to? So what's on the agenda tonight, Dave? Um, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Bastards. 
I went to Greece. Went to a what? Uh, watch. I went to attend a wedding in Greece. Yeah. That was quite interesting. Really enjoyed it. Actually, I'm not going to name names. Obviously, you know, personal reasons. Was it Pauline Calf? Uh, Paul and Pauline Calf. <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't actually. But I know Spiros. where you're going with that. Spiros. Mm. Yeah. Um, Put a roof oh, on. That was so good. Oh, we Fit, did the garden yeah. room. The garden room slash office slash gaming station yeah. slash. Um, when you get kicked out of the house by your, your wife. Uh, second bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously there's going to be a bed set he put in there. But in case any stop put building inspectors are watching, it's not a, a domicile. It's um, built under permitted developments. Yeah. Anybody know anything about permitted development? No, a little bit. So up to 30 square foot, is it? 30 square meters. 30 square meters. Yeah, maximum yeah. 30 square meters. Can't be more than 50% of your garden. Yeah. 2.5 meters from your floor ground Close level point. to eaves and 4.5 meters to uh top of ridge mm. if it's a ridge so you can build a lot of stuff in your garden without actually having to get any permission whatsoever mm. and your neighbors can't say anything can't say fuck all mm. you can't do anything you can't do anything about it which is pretty cool uh so i've done the garden room nearly you helped me out on that in fact we spent a day on that didn't yeah. we yeah you, you put the rubber roof on aren't you or something put a rubber roof on yeah is it any good edpm is it good it's good. Um, I've not. I didn't. I've never done it before, but I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on it. And I'm a construction person, so you know. it's very, very good. We, we, you did all the block work, which you, you've done that before. I've done that many times. We put the roof on, didn't we? A few stud walls. So we've done like a block skin, a, a stud wall skin, insulated, um, boarded, plaster. Electricians are due next week. Plasters are due the week after. So it should be nearly ready for Christmas mm. for when. You know, I do have the, the odd row and kind of... Um, get, get in the outhouse. Get in the outhouse. Shed. It's basically, yeah. I want it to be like a bar slash office slash, I don't know, live live podcast studio. Mm. Maybe for a bit of gaming or something next year. Yeah. A bit more enthusiasm. I need a bit, you know. Yeah. Mm. I feel like I need a bit more. It's, not false enthusiasm. I, I I'm 49. I can't do enthusiasm Yeah, anymore. I know what yeah. you mean, actually. Yeah. 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 I know what you mean. Um, so, agenda-wise, well, it's episode 20. Yeah, obviously I thought we'd, well, there's lots to talk about, to be honest. Um, first and foremost, it's the morning after the night before. He's back. He's back. <laughs> yeah. He's back. Do it, Jack. Come on, do it. Great, great shout out. I want to thank all the podcasts <laughs> that helped me along the way. The great Joe Rogan went on Joe Rogan. And the Side Kevin podcast. Yeah. Side Kevin, great guys, guys, wonderful guys, <laughs> best guys. <laughs> no, pull, yeah. I genuinely believe the that's, that's one, one of, that's a top, yeah. top impression. It's not bad, John. Honestly, bad I think even our audience, we've got a couple of audience members tonight. It's, it's all in that. It's all in the hands and the, the so shoulders. Do you think it yeah, yeah, employ yeah. us to finish this wall off that he started for? Well, he's a lover of bricklayers. He loves a bricklayer. He loves the builders, does our truck, Donald. What do you think of him? He's back. He's back. He's back. I, 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 I ain't got a high opinion of him. Really? Oh, but I didn't have the Kamala Harris either. Yeah. yeah personally. I, I, think, I don't think they were I'm both like, either good yeah. candidates for no, the presidency. It's, it's not the end of the world and he's not going to save the world. But it's the same, you know, both sides, isn't it? It's, yeah. He's I, back. I think I think it's clearly seen that Americans were... Well, he was, was, did favour him more in his... In his Who would you rather have as a prime minister? Donald Trump or Keir Starmer? Keir Starmer. Trump. Fucking hell, Danny, you've had a nightmare there. Uh, Keir Starmer over a, Donald Trump. Can you imagine Donald Trump in Britain? Oh, he'd be brilliant. Uh, he'd be just... Do you, th- do you not think so? No. 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 You can imagine well, yeah, we've Boris questions. Yeah. Because he wouldn't concede to anything. He no. would just... Any time anyone questions him and something, he would just immediately attack. Talk me through that impression, Jack. Talk me through it. So, it's the... It's so it's the hands. And if you're making a point, then the then the, the finger comes out. The finger, like yeah. This. You're making like a this. point... That's when being very serious about something, <laughs> and once the finger comes out, yeah. it's very That's good. It, it, yeah. it is. It is good. Yeah. Let us know in the comments what you think of uh, Jack's uh, Trump. Yeah, Jamie Henry. Sorry, in the comments, has just said Trump that bitch. Don't know what he means. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so he's back. Andy, anything to, on Trump? The guy yeah, got he's shot. Like, he's I 78 know. years that, old. I think that's what did it. I'll that, give that him that picture. I'll give I've him got to say that picture of him yeah. punching the air. Yeah, that's what just after him. he's been shot. I mean, that's pretty iconic, isn't it, that? Yeah, I'll and give uh, him that. I mean, se- the thing is... Another he's thing 79, well. and he's 78. 78. 78. 78. 78. Yeah, he's 78. Right, so he's fucked. No, he's, he's going to be fine. Do you want to be working when you're 78? No. When no. do you want to retire? Now. Yeah, yeah. I'll go with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling <laughs> that. Yeah. 
No. It's dad's fault. It's dad's fault. It's our dad's dad's fault. It's our dad's dad's fault. I don't even want to retire. Dad didn't like Trump. Because he died too young. I think dad, did he like Trump? He kind of liked. thought he was a Burke. He just yeah. wasn't like that. Yeah, but basically, we keep talking about this a lot, but we might as well just talk about it on the pod. Fuck yeah. It. But dad's, dad's dead. Yeah. Dad died in February. Yeah. And basically, none of us want to work anymore. No. no. Well, no, we, I don't know about not wanting to work anymore, but like priorities have totally changed, haven't they? 100%. In our lives. Yeah. Just to, yeah. To, to, it puts everything into perspective when you think you work all your life. Dad died at 67, you think. Yeah. A year and about a year this and is 18 months. Bollocks. He, he got his pension. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 18 what months. a waste of time. Exactly. The, the, the weirdest thing for me is, I don't know if I've said this before on the pod, is that he died at 67. I'm 47. So in my head, I just keep thinking, I've only got 20 years to live. Yeah, I've got 20 years left, basically, to make my mark. And I can't get it, I can't get that out of my head. I can't get rid of that. It's like it's probably five, because AI is going to kill us all, isn't it? In a well, few years. that's on the agenda yeah. for tonight, actually. Is it AI? Yeah, AI, yeah. How good's chat GPT? I got in trouble at work the other day, because... Um, I used ChatGPT for something. I'm not going to say what, but I used it for something. And, and then ChatGPT that I used it for got put through a, a Grammarly type uh, uh, so engine. A software to check And it, it came out as 70% AI generated. <laughs> so, and, and then I got asked about that and I was a bit like, well, yeah, I did use it. But... But I put my parameters in, if you know what I mean, to use it. So it was still personable you to see, me. I, I've got a big thing about this in education and, and people using AI. I don't... Right, what's the difference between now using AI and 10 years ago, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, copying it out of a handbook? Well, so I know what you mean. It's out a, of the I, library. I, yeah, no, you're right. So when somebody does a law... My friend did a law degree. His whole thing that did he, he did cheat was written yeah, he from books out of manchester library yeah but yeah. did he quote them yeah did he actually yeah and no you, no, you know, so but, that's the no but what's the fucking distance no because you've got to if, show if, understanding. If, if it's um harvard uh referencing yeah so if you if you provide the area with this quote source, yeah. the quotes. source quote yeah. that's okay that's all right all right so quote but AI. if you make it out that it's your words yeah then that's not all right but yeah well yeah. so you're right though quote ai yeah. Yeah. Well, I used AI to, for a reference and shit. What yeah. Do about it? I use Google. I use a fucking handbook that people have fucking used for 30 but years. But you know, you know, for things like, uh, well, it's, it's, I think it's going to change everything because you could put into it, uh, give me a podcast script for tonight's episode yeah. based on da 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 or whatever, and it just fucking do it for you. Mm. But you've still got to add your kind of human, humanistic. Yeah, but we're using, we're going to develop the AI into using it for every other industry to make a car. To make a to paint a house know. to do something else. Yeah. That's where it's going to go. I don't. Know. So what's no, the I'm problem? Same. I'm a bit doubtful. I, about. I question a lot of it. It's just an algorithm. Yeah. If you if you could have a if you could have a robot servant at home right now. Yeah. Right. That did did everything. The one from Rocky Four. No, not the one from <laughs> yeah. Rocky Four. Yeah. I know where you're going. Yeah. I'm talking about the one from um, uh, Will Smith's film. I Robot. I Robot. I Robot. Right. You got him at home, right? Or her? Whatever. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Depends what day it is. I, I'm not saying anything. Yeah. I'm saying if you've got that robot at home now, would you have that robot? Say it costs you ten grand. Uh, Tesla no. AI. You wouldn't have one. Is it going to take no. over? Oh though? come on! They, they, they don't. They, they're not things. It's like those robot Hoovers. You know those. What they call them? Rumbers. Yeah, yeah. And and there's when robot. They, uh, when they first came out, everyone's like, "Oh, this is going to replace the Hoover." Yeah, and it didn't because they don't work because it goes into a corner, then it bounces back against the it other gets corner. Stuck. They, it, it's not it's not they say it's AI so it increases stock prices yes yeah. right but if you if there was an AI if there robot was like the robot in the film it would it, it would have I to robot. be yeah. so good that it was better than a human that's the for it to actually replace what we already have that's how good it would have to be well it would be because it'd never get tired it'd never you yeah. just have to fucking but it could never make a mistake yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Could never. Do <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know exactly what you're thinking. Yeah. I know exactly what you're thinking, and it is disgusting. <laughs> it is no. disgusting. <laughs> that was thinking. That is disgusting. Can it do? You're things? married. There's a film about. Is it that, cheating though? though? There is a film about because it's a robot, not a, not a, not a, not a. I've not watched person. it, but he, he's, you know, he has relations with his this robot. 
And then he's... What, this is oh, our uh, moment? The, is it Ex Machina or something like that? Oh, oh yeah, know. no, I've seen that film. It's, he doesn't... Well, if you're going to make one, do every... That it does it, it does everything. Yeah, fair enough, but man or woman. Yeah. Yeah, fair what's enough. No, what's that film with Steven Spielberg? Uh, little boy. Oh, uh, AI. AI. And then AI. he, he befriends yeah. uh, a... Jude Law. Jude Law. Jude Law. Jude Law. And Jude Law is a... He's a, real, he's a sex yeah, bot. He's a sex yeah. bot. Sex, sex bot. bot. Yeah. Yeah, but do we have to... I've got on to this. Right, yeah, but what, if we make AI, into, why, do we, why does it have to be human AI? Why can't it be something based on like a tree or something like that? Who wants a fucking boring no, tree? A no, tree it's, robot? It's, it's, mean, yeah. what, what no, else, what, no yeah. it's that, that's the way it's going to understand the world is through the human perception. When it oh, could, see what you it mean? It could understand it through different perceptions. Well, you have to like, We automatically it. think it's got to be human. In order for it to, to do anything, but you know, like the image generators. Yeah, yeah, use yeah, them. yeah, yeah. But yeah. in order for it to get anything accurately, you have to feed it. Like if you want it to Vast draw a cat, of that you have to feed it a billion pictures of cats. Well, you don't yeah. have to, no, because... Yeah, you Nuance, do and you don't it? because it's already got access to the internet, if you know what yeah. I mean. But that's what so you can say, I want, I want a picture of Hitler stroking a cat on Christmas Day. Yes. Oh, there's loads of them. Right? Yeah. And, yeah. and it'll just appear. But, but he'll have seven mm. fingers on his hands. Oh, right, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like that, yeah. it struggles getting human hands right. It, yeah. it messes with it. It can't, one that, it can't do that something moles like that. tested for, moles for cancerous moles in pictures, but it also oh, selected yeah. the ruler because most moles are pictures of a... The measuring, you know, something to measure the mole yes. next to it. So it, it got picks confused. Up that in the it pictures. picked up it, a lot of the oh, pictures. I see what you mean. That's what the rule So we're yeah. way off. Yo, Yo, how, yeah. how far away are we from, uh, gen, from a genuine, robot? A robot joiner. A uh, hundred years. Yeah. A lot, oh, I don't know about that. I think it's the same thing. It's the same, it's the same, same it's the it's same thing as. I'm basically a robot. It's the same thing as self-driving cars. A robot. No, they're close. No, no, we've got them now. No, we don't. We've got self-driving cars now. Trump's mate. Did Elon? He launched some a few weeks ago. Shout out to Elon. I know he's a fan. There's more neural connections in our brain than there is stars in the universe. At least it's. Can a, can a self-driving... It's you, really you ridiculous, know those times our brains. when you're driving, you're on the motorway, yeah. something happens in front of you and you have to turn left and turn right and then turn... Those... Shit like that. Millisecond... What, what, those things that happen once every five years when you're driving. Yeah. Mm. Once, once in every thousand drives. Yeah, yeah. It can't... It can... Like... Cruise control, it can drive forward in a straight line. Yeah, no it can take over. There'd be no we, we traffic. Had, it can yeah, take over. Tesla's had, can take we over. We had AI in Grand Theft Auto 20 years ago. Yeah, well, it can turn do, left what, and right. And what do we do with it? Stop we, at a red we, light. We mess with prostitutes. <laughs> no, well, even, we set no, fire to people. But you're, even the cars we, that you're not controlling, they can stop at a red light, turn left, turn right, yeah. indicate. Jack's not a fan, is he? I, no, it's I just, agree. It's, I agree with him. When you get... We might be, with AI or self-driving cars, we could be 90% of the way there and 95% of the way. But if the closer you get, the more complicated it gets yes. to get to 100%. And in order, and 100% is... Human. It has to be not just human, but actually better than how a human would do it. The young perspective. Because that's, that's, that yeah. that's only then would it replace... It, it Would it actually replace... Like even in, even in car factories... They have machines that can put the doors on and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they still have humans at every station. Yeah. Because the robots mess up sometimes. Yeah, it's just a more so advanced form of and, automation. And, and, and paint yeah. the windows or something. Yeah. AI, AI, for me, is like, it's, it, it, I'm using it in my job now on a daily basis. Mm. So it is having an impact mm. right now. But then they used another AI to check for the AI. Yes, they that did. That's, that's what the other thing that is. That is a great point, yeah. Yeah, actually. So that's good. using AI to write the email and using yeah, AI, AI is the email. wrong oh, term. Oh, that's a great point. Yeah. I think yeah. AI, like Matt Jackson, AI, AI is the wrong term. It's just a it's marketing not AI, it's, term. It's, it's an algorithm. It's an algorithm. Yeah. AI in construction it's not then. artificial intelligence. Mm. What we're saying? So how far away are we from a sex bot? A sex bot? Yeah. Danny's only concerned about a sex bot. Because um, if you think about... That, is it cheating? No, but like where... Is it cheating? Answer that question. A sex bot joiner? Yeah. <laughs> So it's cheating. No, yeah. it is. So if, if it's if, a complete replica of a human person, then actually technically... So if your wife used something, yeah, is that cheating? That's more of an aid. It's a weird, <laughs> it's a weird balance. No, because... It's a great point. No, it's not. It's, you're right. No, it's no. a really tricky point. Yeah. So it's a great point. Do you know what I mean? Because for us guys, you know, maybe one day it could be a good option for us. I don't know if it, I don't know. Well, how the fuck have we got onto this? Yeah, but if you think about um, if it's genuine intelligent or genuinely conscious, then should we give it freedom? Yeah. 
how no don't because it would it be slavery it. if we yeah. if it's something that's genuinely conscious and we could control we should give it freedom why why should we because it's got a right to to think i don't know it's like to if life. it's advanced enough to be I mean, I don't, to understand I don't really think that could happen but if is it, it is, is it real understanding or like a false understanding yeah but that's there you go that is, is it that, genuinely alive is it then? genuinely alive yeah, yeah. Has it been programmed to Could think it that way? paint a beautiful master of art? <laughs> could you? you? Could you? Yes, yeah, it's, you know, it's, yeah. yeah. it's the same sort of question, isn't it, basically? Yeah. yeah. Ah, it's an interesting subject. I mean, we've seen an AI robot at uh, UK Construction Week when we went down to the NEC. And it was just this big fucking daft arm, basically. Yeah. Laying, not laying bricks, it was like they pouring this mortar. AI, though, don't and yeah. it was like, and it's everyone, everyone's like going, oh, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's yeah. robotics, it's, it's, isn't it? It's brilliant, yeah. everything. And it's like, well, it wasn't actually, it mm. looks shit. The, the actual finished product, it looked like a load of plasticine. Yeah. yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But I don't know if you can create like rows and rows of foundations and then put a robot on it and that robot prints that. Ha it's basically a 3D printer. It is. It's a 3D. It's, it's the next step, but it still needs somebody to design and run it. It can't. And if it's like Jack said, if it's a slight mistake or something goes wrong, yeah. it can't self-correct. Yeah. Or can it? Yeah. It makes one mistake. It hurts. It, it it grabs someone's arm instead of a yeah, and brilliant. And crushes it somebody's off. arm. Yeah. Bang, gone forever. Yeah. I think you have one. Every, everyone should have a switch and just go bang, kill it. Kill switch. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. If it's yeah, getting a bit it, out of order. What if it learns about its kill switch and it... And it's the know. cost as well. Yeah. Cost of the uh, for the record, if, they could, if there was an AI robot now of equivalent to like a human, I would 100% have one. 100%. Can you imagine like the mornings? What would example? you do to it? No. <laughs> what would you do in the mornings? No, there? forget all that. Forget all that for a minute. Just forget all that sort of seediness and dark, darkness and evilness. Me like make a coffee or something. Yeah, just all, just the simple things like in the mornings and stuff. Yeah. But, Can you imagine? What, what, does it put the coffee in first or does it put the sugar or the milk in well, first? Well, you know, you'd, you'd yeah. say to it, you'd shout out. It definitely, it. definitely puts the what, fucking... What about the teaspoons? Coffee. Teaspoon, in. teaspoon and a half. I'd what shout... It, what is it considered to be a teaspoon and a half? I don't know. I don't know about <laughs> these things. But I, I know I would shout at my robot. I know I would. So you it's not got any feelings. You want Downton Abbey with robots? Kind of, yeah. I yeah. suppose I do, actually, yeah. I want yeah. Downton... Downton robots. Down, it's down a, down, a, it's a dark path to go down in it because you don't know. Is like you've you've mentioned it. Then is it become like a slave? Does it become like? Yeah, a, but it's a robot. I, I don't think it is because I don't think it's going to happen. So no, so, no I, yeah. it I'm can't skeptical. be a slave yeah. because it's a robot. But it's not going to happen. If it's a slave, it's a robot. So, well, the robot means slave. Is it a machine? It's robot. What about it? It means Siri? Slave, doesn't it? Does it, it no, I think it's from the Slavic for robot. It means slave. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. there's a comment just come in from TikTok. It says, does the guy on the right still do apprenticeships, endpoint assessments? As I recognise him. Uh, what, yes, I what, think he does. What, yeah. What's your name? Uh, Cam Cam Harper. Yeah, Cam, he does. If you yes, still with us, I do. Yes, yeah. he does. Get with the program, Cam. Yeah. Hi, Cam. Shout out to Cam. Um, so that's robots. So kind of yeah. the future of buildings. So basically, what we've established here is we'd all have it as like a housekeeper. Danny'd have it as a sex slave, basically. I'd, I'd have it as a friend like Bender from Futurama. No, I yeah, think, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. No. See what? See, I'll right? tell you what though. See what Trump does and Elon. I hope you're in when they come right? together. Oh, it's even, a stitch up for money. It's even, just even, all a stitch even, up. Even more he, money. He knows. He, he does. He's he, a stitch up. He's, he's been in it that far. He knows how far it can go. Make sure he wants to keep China out of the electric car business. That's what he's doing. Interesting. Mm. Very interesting. Okay, let's solve move. that boom dump. Yes, that's let's yeah. move on. Um, Andy, did you have seg a segment? Or yes, something you want to well, mention? I know we're always going back to the housing crisis, um, but I thought we'd go down a different part of that, and it's social housing, and why we are with social housing now and how it started. It's a mess. It is. But social housing kind of gradually came out of the Home for Heroes after the First World War. Because uh, First World War. After the First World War. Yeah, so. But part of it was from that the level of recruits that they got, they weren't healthy and they were malnourished. And they thought that they needed better homes. So basically. That was part of the reason. So were they, them houses already built? or There was, there was a, a social housing, like various schemes, like through Christian schemes and philanthropists who were building houses from, so from sex robots to, to social, this housing. social housing from this like, is the beauty of this podcast this is from like the 1850s yeah but it gradually came into law and it, the provision started properly after the second world war yeah. mm -hmm. so basically we went to war yes we went to war everyone came back and, and kind of was like fuck this i'm not working po post-war contract i'm not being a servant anymore I'm working in a big yeah, house it, that gradually changed from the first to the second world war but by the end of the um the Second World War with, um, you know, um, 
Um, should have a segment like Andy's segment. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like a, a voiceover. So it's, you know, like Clement Attlee with yeah. the welfare state. That yeah. Help, yeah. Help, you know, so we need same, more America to America, the same thing with the GI Bill. You did. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. What was that? It's a good way. Well, it was it was basically university. a contract for returning veterans. They could go to university. They could go free. back and study. Brilliant. Houses that were yeah. built for them. And it worked. Know. It, well, it's, why, so why, why have we, why have we got fucking half of London's homeless ex-veterans then? Right, well, this is when you get into it. From 40, 1945 to 1979, local councils, this is council houses, they built 4.4 million homes, bringing up the national mm. stock. Say, that, say them years again, Andy. From 45 to, say, 1980, yeah. we built, as a country, the council's built, yeah. um, 4.4 million Jeez, homes. In hell. What was the population then? Uh, um, the population, the population in the eighties was about fifty-six million. Yeah. So from, from about from about nineteen eighty-two in the so mid-nineties. So we built a fifth. Uh, sorry, a a twentieth. Well, uh, it's, sorry, that, it's not exactly. It's not one person for one home, is no, it? No, no. But yeah. if you look at, we don't fucking do that now. Not as much. No. Seven hundred and fifty thousand yeah. homes a year at the moment. And then hasn't the population no. gone up in the yeah. last? Thirty. Right. Years. I, have, I yeah. have got that. Ten million point. in fourteen years. I have years. got that point yeah. to yeah. be part of it. Carry on, sorry, carry on, carry on, carry on. Yeah, so from 45 to 79, houses, we built 4.4 million council houses or social housing yeah, yeah. and added to a stock of 6.5 million homes by then. Yeah. So in the 80s, we had 6.5 million at social housing. Hmm. It's now, it's gone back to 3.8 million. Fucking yeah. hell, because we've sold them. We've sold them, the we've right got the right to buy. The right to now, buy. As, as yeah. Dad actually always said this, the right to buy was a great idea get yeah. people on the housing market, yeah. but they didn't replace them or didn't replace them quickly enough or yeah. enough. Mm. So where's everyone living now then? Right, now this is another one. In 1919, 90% of people, um, they rented their house from a private landlord. Ah, okay, right. By the 1980s, it was 10%. Wow. What was 10%? It was 90% of people Renting rented. Oh, sorry, I'm with you. a private la la landlord. Right. And by the 80s, it was only 10% that rented from private landlords. And do you reckon that's gone back up now? That's gone to about 19%. It's creeping so back up. doubled in the last few yeah. decades. So yeah. if, and also it helps with, when you uh, increase the social housing, it keeps housing prices lower because mm -hmm. people can rent and it's reasonable rents. The rents were only something like... The fixed. They, they, they were pr fixed. Pra kind of pr practically fixed. They were. They yeah. were about 20% of the wages. Yeah, yeah which is a, it's a social housing that has, has been or was a huge success in the it UK was. for many, many, for decades. No, it was, and but it led, and, it, and council housing, it wasn't something to be ashamed of to have a council no, house. No, it shouldn't be yeah. anyway. But, but mm. it also, um, it's the greatest transfer of wealth, but people got into buying houses because it kept the housing, the private housing market lower because of the amount of social housing. Yeah. Because people had the chance to go and rent somewhere cheaper. Mm -hmm. So houses were cheaper to buy. Yeah. Per average, so and now, more people. And I mean, now we're in a right old state. Yes, because we're in we, a mess. We'd actually, there's a guy called Tom Nicholas who's got a great YouTube documentary on it, and yeah. it's how he said how we saved, how we solved the housing crisis. Shout out to Tom. In the oh. by the eighties, our housing problem was solved from say nineteen twenties. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting you mention that because just the other day I was looking at uh, the rise of house prices over time, and it oh, was ridiculous. it was at the end of the eighties when that huge it was. It, we've done, actually happened. done something on that. Uh, yeah, about a few episodes back. And, um, yeah, we did about about episode twelve. Because I was or looking something. at it when I was. Because the problem the problem is is yeah, thirteen. Pr house prices have gone up six six times, seven times, yeah. which they were. But it's mad. Salaries have only gone up. No, a two couple of times. times. No, it's now you need. You used to need three times your wage to it's for a like mortgage. It's like six or seven times. It's, now. it's eight. Yeah, it's yeah. now eight, eight times. times. You, you, now, on average, salary. I think it's the median. On the, on the, the median wage yeah. is eight times. Yeah, but the mortgage is fucking Tories three yes. and a half. No, and in the eighties, which 80s, is right. The, in the eighties, the mortgages got out of control. The, it was opened up. The That's biggest, Thatcher. It was Thatcher. Yeah. Thatcher. Thatcher. But the biggest problem is, I actually agree. You know, like well, the in, interest rates going up. Like Thatcher being bombed at Brighton. Oh yeah, that's do you true, know? Yeah. Do you know, like when we talk about prices of houses and interest rates, I actually, well, what they are now, I think it's all right. I we should do. have interest rates. Right. It should be an interest. It's mm -hmm. all to do with everyone's fucking wages. Are fucking miles behind. Yeah, yeah, that is no, 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 miles no, 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 fucking behind. Too much, forget too prices, much money forget has interest gone up rates. To the top. All the all everyone's wages are fucking S too low. Salaries of uh, 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 I saw as well. Ridiculous. Ever since the financial crisis, they've <laughs> they've 
Basically, no, it's just it's all dad, important dad stuff. Dad earned 600 no, pounds no, a week is. in the 90s. And he was in it. Yeah. No, he did. In the he, 90s. He did. He did. I know. As a bricklayer. As a bricklayer, I know. Been he had fucking four kids at private school. 600 pounds a week in the 90s. How many bricklayers could mental. afford to pay Yeah, but he did the last. He did no, he didn't last. I know, but he but tried. He fight. tried. He it's did. still a thing. Yeah. Four fucking kids at private school yeah. paying fucking private school fees. Yeah. A bricklayer can't afford to do that now. No, well, he can't even dream of sending his son to a How much is a bricklayer on now? A week. About the same, about 700. No, Let, let's maybe say a thousand. On a price. Maybe a grand. I say a, a good gra- price. I say a grand, grand a week. Right, a good but they're price. working the bollocks off. But they're, they but are really working the bollocks off. But they're on a thousand pound a week and everyone goes, yeah, they're on a fucking thousand pound a week. Britley's on a thousand pound yeah, a week. No week. holiday pay. But, but what, what happens with that thousand pound? Your body gets fucking raped. Yeah, yes. You're, you're That's raped. what happens. Yeah. You, yeah. So you get, you're earning a thousand pound, but you're giving your fucking body. Yeah, you've over. got to finish ten and, years earlier. And your holiday pay, your sick pay, your tax. Exactly. You, mm-hmm. you, you, everything. Your working costs. You, lo- you lost working your rain working and, and yeah. other stuff. But also, so say if he's at, right. So let's just say he works every week, every day of the fucking week. Works fifty-two day, weeks a year, fifty-two grand a year, 50. which he's not by 50. the way. Give let's say, let's say right, fifty. Right, it's fifty grand a year, right? Uh-huh. And he's working the bollocks off. That person is working the bollocks off. The mortgage company come along and say, I'll give you three and a half times your fucking salary. Right, so you can buy a house that's 175 grand. What the fuck are you buying for 175 grand? Barely exactly. anything. Right. Well, barely you, fuck off. Struggle well, so so, so what I mean is, 600 pound a week, 30 years ago. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Fair. Was 28 and a half grand a year? Probably two grand right? a week now that. Somewhere. You could buy a four bedroom house. Yeah. With it, with two and cars did. on the drive. And yeah. What was you going to say? You're sorry, we interrupted well, you. So it, it's since the, the, the where wage growth just flatlined in this 90s. country was, af- was after the financial recession. 2008? 2008. 2008. That was when... Bastard bankers it, again. Ever, ever since then, it's flatlined, basically. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the population's increased massively as well. I, but So the, 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 the amount of people working has grown. Yeah. But... There's not the it hasn't kept up with uh, everything else hasn't kept up with it. The amount of houses being. I built, went out for a drink the other day. I'll come, I'll come back yeah. to that. I went out for a drink the other day uh, with some friends and family. I'm, I got introduced to a guy who was in finance, mm. and he's, he was like, "Oh, what do you do?" And I was like, "What do you do?" You know that awkward meet when you first, yeah. you know, yeah. what do you do? I'm a, and, I, and I can't be bothered going into my job because it's a bit convoluted with construction and education and stuff so i said oh like a bit like an assessor tutor that's basically what i say can't be asked with it and he's like oh right yeah yeah and then he sat going about cowboy builders to me yeah straight away about them fuck about cowboy bankers so I, said, I, said I, said him, I, said, I said to him i said what do you do and he's like he's in finance so he's going on about back? cowboy buildings so i fucking i said i said i'll tell you something not one cowboy builder has yeah. ever brought the fucking economy down yeah, do you <laughs> because you lying you bastards. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? All Green, milking ripping. and squeezing yeah. every si- essence of. A lot of people of, should have gone to prison in 2000. Yeah, they should have done, and nobody should. did. No, because they and didn't nobody want to crash did. the system. They worried about crashing the system. Yeah. Mm. So, the, so, the, and I will tell you another thing that pisses me right off. You know that BBC Watchdog program? Shout out to the BBC, by the way. You you didn't take up. The podcast for BBC Sounds, but <laughs> we want to be on there anyway. Your loss, you know, thirty, oh, million, fuck, yeah. fuck 30 million. million views later, your loss. Yeah. But anyway, um, I'm not paying me to realise. <laughs> <laughs> but but the guy on BBC Watchdog, he's a bit. He's always going after cowboy builders. Mm. Well, can't we? Can you start going after cowboy dentists? Oh, yeah. can you start going after cowboy accountants? Yeah, yeah. Can you start going after cowboy? Fucking cowboys, cowboys, cowboys. Yeah. cowboy, cowboys. Yes. But do you know what? I mean? Politicians, exactly. Politicians. From the, the, the cheap seats there, we've just been heckled by the beautiful Dan. Uh, from the, no, but he's right though. Cowboy politicians. It's, it's, yeah. it's how it's how easy it is to catch someone out though. Yeah. If you you, you can't. What what's the what always happens with the cowboy builders and everything? How do they catch them? They set a camera up in some old lady's home. Yeah. Some guy comes round. He says oh. it's going to be five grand for a thing. Oh. You can't. You can't do that with a bank. You can't set up a private camera in their yeah. office. You can't. No, I, I, you're right. But what I'm saying is, they're an easy. It's the easiest. Yeah. It's the it's the lowest hanging fruit to go after. Yeah, and by the way, there's some absolute scumbag cowboy builders. Yeah, that are vile. That are I, vile I've known, people. I've known a, there's a quite yeah, a few there's some of them. scumbag yeah. cowboy builders that are just the, the it, scum no of the earth. No morals at all. But. The point I'm making is there are cowboys in all Everybody. these in other finance, industries. There is. Especially in finance. Oh, yeah. they're fucking full of them. If you watch that film, The Big Short, oh, yeah. the best yeah. scene in that margin is call. when he's yeah. he's basically, or margin call. No, he's but, talking to that guy in Vegas, no, isn't he? No, when, 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 I can't remember, is it Steve Carell? Yeah. Yes. When he's talking to the stripper 
And and he yeah. asks her, how many loans have you got? And she says, I've got five houses. Five honey. houses, yeah. Right. <laughs> like and he basically goes back to these people who sold them all these mortgages yeah, and was like, yeah. do you know what you've done to these people? So they, yeah. they get to sell that. Mm. And they fucking away. hundreds and hundreds of people doing that all around the world. But that yeah. just Selling wasn't, loans that wasn't, and mortgages. Yeah. That to, wasn't one person. That was a collective agreement by the banking industry. I know. Oh, by the industry, yeah. To say that these, we can we can give you loans based on the fact of the value of these properties and everything. But but knowing full well yeah. that, that they couldn't ever be paid back. Or if the interest rates yeah. went up by a, a slight amount, they'd all be absolutely fucked. Well, that's why 0% interest rates are a terrible idea. Because yeah. everything goes crazy. Because yeah. Yeah. eventually yeah. interest rates have to go back to normal. That's why I do think at the moment, I think it's, I know people say about the mortgage going up and I do appreciate it. Mine's gone up. But no, you need an interest rate. It's about you, you need to right. Stop it's things wages going mad. though. That are way wrong. Wages need to catch up. Wages are yeah, wrong. We have thousands of years. And I don't just mean construction. I mean everybody: yeah. nurses, doctors, yeah. police officers. Oh, hang on, hang on. They just had a pay rise, aren't they? The nurses didn't they? Didn't they just get a pay well, rise? I love, love, love the the Tories came in and gave the fucking train drivers. They all got labor. a pay rise. Sorry, Labour, not the yeah, Tories. Yeah. Labour. They gave them a nine. They, they paid out nine billion pounds worth of pay rises. I think didn't they? So. Just to get back to the social And construction housing. had a ten percent reduction in prices. No, they have. Red Row Homes, talking specifically to you. So what were you saying, Andy? Sorry. Yeah, because so more people uh, could have because social housing actually kept house prices stable and lower. Mm. So more people could buy a house. And that period from forty five to seventy nine was the greatest um change of wealth in the history of this country. That's mm. when working people could get some wealth. Yeah. Because they could buy a house. It's the greatest exchange of wealth. An important note about that period as well, after the Second World War, is the, the, the huge rise in birth rates. Yeah. The baby boom generation. So there was a huge generation that were much bigger than everyone else around them. They were, they out, they were, they were like twice the size of their parents' generation. Yeah. And they were bigger than their children's generation as well, and grandchildren. So that, as, as a collective, which is granddad's, your dad's yeah. generation they had a huge amount of buying power mm. because they were a, they outnumbered every other group. So the, all throughout their lives, they've always been marketed to. Every, everything, they, they were yeah. able to drive money towards them as a yeah, generation. Yeah, I see what you mean. And you that, see that in politics in America, yeah, actually. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah, I, see, yeah. I, I do see what you mean, actually. Yeah. I, 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 that, that specific kind of um, group of people that demographic are always targeted. If, yeah, in, and in that's which is why we have the problem now is that they're all reaching retirement age. Yeah, and there aren't really uh, as many young. Say in the seventies, yeah. for every person over sixty-five, you had three people under thirty. Just say, I'm not saying that's yeah, exactly yeah. what it was, but yeah. it would have been roughly that. Now it's almost inverted. Yeah. For every uh, three people over the age of 65 or two and a half. Yeah. There's only one person working. People pay, living in the state pension. People living longer. Pe people living longer, but also they're just... Apart they, from our dad. Were... I was going to say, not fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, one but, year's pension. Yeah, yeah well, the yeah, pensions, yeah. Yeah. it's not paid through the, the government saving you money. It's paid through the people working did now. Did well, this is this yeah. is another thing. So the, the, yeah. the, 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 the theory story goes that the, the country is two weeks in front. Yeah. I don't know how true that actually is, but I'm sure there's a modicum of truth within it. As in, in that, so if everything stopped today, yeah, everything stopped, and I mean everything, we'd have enough for two weeks worth of social security payments and dole payments, and and then it'd gone, oh, be gone. Right. Well, so the money, money keeps coming in, but the money keeps going out, keeps coming in, keeps going out, so unless like, you get COVID and they just go fuck it. Everyone can have a grand a month, and so if if Golden Eye happened. Golden Eye. And they shut down the Bank that, of England. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how yeah. it Actually, I've got a theory yeah. about that. Right. This, you've got your national debt and you've got... Who do we owe that to, though? A lot of it we owe kind of to ourselves in bonds that we... Yeah. It's, I, it's really complicated. I don't know what that means. I'm well, not trying to... I'm not yeah. thinking country, you out. I'm I know, just, but the yeah. country's real wealth is the infrastructure that's already been built yeah. plus the people. Yeah. And maybe some sort of solid like reserves of gold. Yeah, yeah well, not, it's not. It's all fiat currency now, isn't it? It's yeah. all just no gold the promise to pay. Yeah type of thing. Right. So it's all bullshit, basically. Yeah, no, it's all belief. But I think, really, even if you've got loads of debt and you spend more money, but if you spend it on infrastructure, that's not going away. Yeah. No, because it'll be it's there. Increased it, yeah, wealth. It, it, it'll it's, always be there, yeah. You're actually increasing the physical wealth of a country. It's, it's why, as well, as America definitely does this, and we probably do as well. It's why the value of the pound is constantly going down, just as the value of the US dollar is constantly going down. Yeah. Because if it's more. less, if it's worth less, say, it's deep, like this. inflation, like, 
one pound 10 years ago, the buying power of a pound 10 years ago is, is one pound 30 now. We've so, said it many times on this podcast. So Please. which, which, but that makes the uh, national debt less. As How well. much was a Freddo when you no. were a kid? Yeah. Yeah. Inflation yeah. is the best way of okay. getting out of debt. If you have yeah, more inflation, it's, it's you going spiral out of debt. I mean, it's a bit more yeah. complicated. What was a Freddo when we were kids? 10p. We, for 10p mix, you could get loads. You get What's a Freddo now today? Quid? Don't know. I've seen them at 60p. 65p? I've seen Freddo's I think they'd be out of date, Freddo's. No, they yeah. stopped taking the price off Freddo's, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. It's when they did that. They've caught it's on when they stopped it putting the 10p's off. Yeah. Cadbury's have gone wise, haven't they? You know, we need to create a Freddo index of prices. Um, mm -hmm. I'd want to mention, uh, we, we went to present some... We oh, went we to did. present at some awards, we did. didn't we? We did. The we <coughs> presented at the Awards. Construction Apprenticeship Awards 2024 in Manchester. Yeah. We were asked to go and present, and we presented some awards. That was quite good. Seeing the did, apprentices and did. stuff. We met some brilliant apprentices, actually, that night. We did, and didn't we? To all the Should we give them a shout-out? Uh, all of them. Shout-out to the brilliant. apprentices that we met. Yeah. Uh, comment from TikTok. The guy in green passed me on my level two joinery a couple of years ago. Can't remember your name. Sorry. What's <laughs> MH? What's your name? I'm Dan. He's, he's Rudiger. Yeah, he's Rudiger. I love the way Danny sort of talks to it like it's um, only fans or something. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean. You know, only Dan. Do you want me to lap dance? Only Dan's. That was Jay. only Dan's. Yeah, only yeah. Dan's. Only Dan's. Yeah. That's something that we uh, we actually probably will start up one day, basically. Only Dan's. But we have got a couple of people in the audience today. I don't know if you want to quickly shout hello. 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 There's one. <laughs> The hello. Yeah. hello, there's the other. I think we're going to get one of them on towards the end well, of the, the pod. Voice, the sec, the yeah, it's a big yeah. surprise. We're going to get one of them on. It's a bit of a surprise. Very famous. Very I famous. Feel a bit emotional. You yeah, feel a bit emotional, yeah. don't you, Dan? And when I came up the stairs before and I saw, I saw both of them, I was, I was happy to see them both. Yeah. Particularly one. Yeah. But not. Yeah. It was a nice. Not, not the one that shares my name. Yeah. <laughs> it was a nice surprise. It was a lovely it? surprise, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. One of them, one of our audience members, was he's got quite famous recently because he was on. He's on Sky. He's on Sky, wasn't he? he was giving on, it the big one. Yeah. Giving yeah. it the big Talking one. To Roy the big one. Yeah. Giving it all this shit yeah. about. Well, I think he's a new man. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think he probably <laughs> would do a better job. <laughs> <laughs> For those that didn't hear that, Dan, Dan's. Uh, the, the, sorry, our guest said. You got, you got told to, yeah. Mm. Actually, I've just remembered something. I'm going to open this live on uh, Oh, yeah? Live. Oh, what is this? Yeah. This is a new um, addition to the table bought nice. by me. So you know the rule that when you go on holiday, you have to bring something back to the table. Oh, no. You never follow that. No. I um, don't, know. Neither do you. No. And neither do you, actually. Oh, wait, did I, I bought the thing from Rio, didn't I? Oh, what did you buy? Oh, wait, no. I bought no, that, 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 was that was Sam. No, that was Sam. Oh, that's that's Sam. one of our no, uh, main I, watchers. I gave that to, to yeah. Nana and Grandad. That's what it was. So I went to Greece on yeah. holiday. I went to Cos on holiday and I thought, oh, what did I you love get? this. Get? It's not construction. It, you probably all Is it the Colossus of Rhodes or something? Don't what, care. I don't care. But I think... It's heroin. I just saw it. I thought, I've got to oh. buy it. I've got to buy oh, it. I like that. I've got oh, to buy it. It's a helmet. Oh, Spartan helmet. Oh, it's a Spartan helmet. That's nice. I had to buy it for the table. That's really good. I like that. I had to buy it. That cost me... 15 euros. <laughs> it's all right, that. But, you know, it's a, it's a tradition. Could have a Achilles. Achilles could have now, worn Now, if that, you're going to make, if you're going to, you know, design oh, a safety yeah, helmet you should have a safety helmet like Do it that. properly. Sure. Right. If, 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 ha give me that, Dan. Yeah. So, if a hard, that's, you, you Manufacturer. Know, if a hard hat looked like that. Wear it every uh, day. All the time. And, but, and, and it, you could get away with it on site. Yeah. Would you wear that hard hat or that hard I'd hat? I'd wear, wear that bed. one. I'd wear the green I'd wear one. it to bed with my wife and everything. You'd wear it, like, with the full... I'd yeah. <laughs> We're now getting heckled from the for that he's had. I think, it, uh, no, I think he's had a drink. Um, oh, if you've, no. if you've gen if honestly, if they made those and everyone said, "Listen, we've got a new art, you have to wear this on site." I'd be like, "Wear that, no problem." Yeah, everyone would wear them. So, so shout out to hard hat manufacturers. If you want to start making hard hats that are really popular for people to wear, why don't you start making them like that? You yeah, know, full, full. Everyone would. Or wear do them. a whole range of different uh, historical helmets. Yeah. Like yeah. a German German World War Two one. one. Yeah. Would you wear that one? The, I don't or the know, old, like the round German. head ones, you know, from the Civil English Civil War, all that. Yeah. One. yeah. No, no, no. So they um, do a cowboy one. I have seen. Yeah, they, have, they do, do a cowboy, cowboy harder. Yeah. It, it, it says ancient Greek helmet. So nice. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I like that. There's your ancient Greek helmet. I just thought I'd present that to the table yeah, tonight. Right. So great, so right. so Dave. Do you like it? Yeah. Like. yeah, it's good. Yeah. You're feeling it. Yeah. Like that. So that is the yeah. new rule for, for next fact, year's. Don't drop yeah, it. It needs to be at the front. It needs, needs to be at the front. For net, put him in front. No, get him the camera right at the front. Pick him up. Get, put him in the middle, Dan. 
yeah. for next year's uh, solid, uh, pod, because we're obviously it's episode 20, so after today, uh, it's the day after Bonfire Night, 6th of November, so we, we, we're not finishing yet, we've still got a few, about another 20 minutes, but we will be, um, well, we're going to be changing the pod, aren't we? Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's still the Sight Cabin podcast, but it's going to be, I don't know, anything we want it to be, basically, yeah. not just construction. We're going to, I think it actually already has changed. Yeah, I'm but wrong. I think it's, I don't think it has changed. I think it's always, it's the, the whole, one of the people hopefully who's coming on tonight, one of the reasons yeah. we all started this up, because yeah. we said, what is a Sight Cabin? So yeah. a site cabin is where people sit around the table talking having the dinner, shit. talking shit yeah. about yeah. any subject. Yeah. So it's not changing yeah. that it's all about construction. We are from construction, yeah. but the emphasis as well as the, the table and sitting around and doing yeah. a podcast was, yeah, you're you right. Can talk about you anything talk in the about cabin. Anything. In the cabin. Anything. That was the type. Yeah. That was the whole yeah. reason we started it. Actually, I've met some really clever people from. I'm, yeah. I'm being very genuine yeah. now. You know, I think I've met people from every single walk of life yeah. in the site cabin. Yeah. And every of the amount of different political opinions, religious oh, opinions, everything you can come through. You you meet some it people who are quite... very intelligent, very people who are not very intelligent. Yeah, total people thickos. who have uh, <laughs> belly laughs. Total thickos. Yeah, but do, but, yeah. but yeah. also people who have They're belly laughs. Yeah. Oh, I've, seen, I've seen some of the funniest characters. things I've ever seen. Yeah. I can't I can't even yeah. if you couldn't write it, some of the yeah. things you've seen. And some of the stories, um, and and also, you know, we've we've talked about this before as well. We've with lots of men out there. We've talked about oh well in difficult times as well. So out yeah. of the uh, well, this is the twentieth, but out of the nine episodes this season, and this is the tenth one, our most watched episode, our most successful episode, was the episode on uh, basically mental health episode seventeen. Yeah. It was our most watched episode this season. Mm-hmm. I think in terms of the actual episode views and listens, whatever you want to call them, and also clips, it got just that episode got about two million views right. from wow. different from different sort of Well, I hope it's helped somebody scenarios yeah. of it and yeah, all. I, sure. I think somebody. you was crying on it. I, think I, I was, was crying, crying on, on it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sort of discussing all sorts of yeah. different stuff. So uh, yeah, we've talked about a lot of stuff this this season this year. We talked mm. about a lot. Anything that sticks out with anybody? Uh, one on the, the one on no. the ancient, <laughs> ancient construction one. I enjoyed, ancient enjoyed construction. that. I enjoyed that. Andy loved that. I enjoyed that. That was, that was, yeah. that was all, but... 14 marvels, construction marvels of the past. Yeah, yeah. it's all the stuff I on the table. I think we did one on... The, 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 the big one that sticks out for me was just after Dad's funeral. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a good one. That one for me, personally. But yeah. in terms of what I've seen, I don't really watch them back, to be quite honest with you, because I can't be asked. Um, yeah, you never watch it. Do I don't. I can't watch myself. I can't. I can't, yeah, watch I can't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whereas I have it on a loop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, oh, is that me again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not joking though. Speak. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not joking. All around yeah. the house. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, yeah. is that the podcast? Oh, is that, oh, I don't know how that's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> what's happened there? Um, was <laughs> we did one about um, MVQs, and yeah. now something oh, yeah. we haven't mentioned. Do you know what? There's a couple of things I need to speak about that. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Go on, carry on. It, it was... Now, there's a lot of people in this room, actually, who've worked in construction and worked in uh, the educational side of it. Yes. And some very experienced people. One of our yes. Guests, two of our guests actually know a lot yes. about it as well tonight. But it's... You, me and you spoke after, and we said, I didn't realise, or I've never realised, how much people don't re- know no, yeah. about... The difference between an MVQ, an endpoint assessment, yeah. a CSCS a UPAR, card, a CSCS card, uh, a city and gu- the people call it city and girls, and oh, I got my city and girls. I did oh, it. And Danny. the difference, and it, and it, when you read all the comments, you thought no one's got a clue. No. The amount of time about the difference, mm. you absolutely, you absolutely bang on. The amount of times people will say to me, "I've got my city and girls. I need my city and girls. I've not got my city and girls. How do I get my city and girls?" Yeah. They're not talking about city and girls are just an awarding body. Yeah. There yeah. are fucking loads of awarding bodies yeah. that do the construction, exact same, exact same qualification. Yeah. It's, it's Coca-Cola, isn't it? It's, it's Coca-Cola. It's, it's, it's McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. It's that kind of... Yeah. Because yeah. I don't think a lot of people <laughs> realise that they're private companies. Yeah. And by the way, public. I'm not slating City and Girls in no. any no, way. No, my, my qualifications were City and Girls. Well, yeah. that's, that's how p- successful yeah. it's been, that so you can just was. say City and Girls. Yeah. Yeah. But, right. 
Yeah. But the building industry don't understand. They don't get that you are right from that episode that we did about it, that. I was amazed with with everything. And, and, and when I was reading through the comments, I was like, how they don't get like, oh, well, oh, you should do this. Now, there is a few comments that I, but you want me to say it personally, I do. do. Should an apprenticeship be two years? No. Should it be three years? No. I actually right. think it should be five. Five years. That, I genuinely still, but genuinely personally believe that an apprenticeship yeah. should be a long period of time and then at the end of the day, you do like a test, and, release, uh, which is, yeah, is a new yeah. way of doing it, an employee yeah. test, which actually I think is a brilliant way. But I do think an apprentice should be, apprenticeship should be longer personally. That's my personal belief. Can we just mention them bit briefly about endpoint assessments? Because yeah. we never really have actually. No. So an endpoint assessment is a practical exam at the yeah. end, at the end of a learner's apprenticeship it's a brilliant journey. thing to do. At either level two or at level three. So if you do a level two apprenticeship in a construction qualification, yeah. at the end of that apprenticeship, you don't pass unless you pass a practical end point assessment, which is where you have to build a model or whatever. Yeah. And that proves your capabilities. You don't do that with your training provider. So if you go to a college and... Uh, do your apprenticeship with that college, you have to go to an independent training provider to, to be uh, deemed practical enough, pa yeah, passable enough, your quality is good enough, basically. The, the, I remember when I first learned about it, it it's basically a driving test. Yeah, that, that's yeah. that's all the, the yeah. best way of thinking it is. You learn you, you learn about the knowledge. You go to a test center and you do your knowledge test. Yeah, mm. right. You do your you learn with a, a teaching examiner to learn how to drive, and then you go to an independent test center. Yeah. And you have your driving test prove and they test you it, yeah. and they prove you can do it and it's yeah. an hour's test, whatever. In this way, depending on which trade you are, it can be two days, it can be one day, it can be three days. It, yeah. it, it depends what it is. But it's a wonderful way. You, Your college uh, or your employer, should I say, actually chooses the endpoint assessment organization. Yeah, they do. And then you can um, you then get assessed independently at the end of your yeah. apprenticeship. And that's a brilliant that, way of doing That's it. live right now. I that's think, how, yeah. That is yeah. how you have to, if you're doing an apprenticeship in construction yeah. right now, that's how you have to do an apprenticeship. I'll guarantee we'll get, if we put that clip up, yeah. we'll get some hate saying, no, it's bullshit. You should have to do this and you should have to do that. The amount of people that have, don't have a clue actually what they're actually talking about. They've got a small modicum of an idea of what they're talking about. It and was I'm not, quite amazing. I'm not having to go yeah. at them. They just don't understand it. They just no. don't know. It, it was quite shocking, the comments when you read yeah. them about how little people know about, like, oh, how yeah, to actually just, just go and get a qualification in your industry. Yeah. Yeah. Or even the, the, what they think they get a qualification and then the difference between a CSCS card and... And then the difference between an apprenticeship and the difference between an OSAT route. Or it, it, mm. I was amazed, actually, that... I do need to just mention one yeah. thing about CSCS yeah. cards. Because there is a change on CSCS cards coming. Um, grandfather rights will be leaving us by the end of this year, 31st of December 2024. So you can no longer... There's 13 current cards available, but there'll only be 12 from next year because the grandfather rights one is going. There is an additional thing that's just come out as well about Labour's green cards... So f I think it's from next year, but don't quote me exactly on that. But they will only be available for a two-year period rather than a five years. So mm -hmm. when if you take the qualification and gain the Labourer's Green Card, um, CSS card, you can only get it for two years until you can prove that you are working as a labourer in, in the industry. Then it will be extended to five years. And the reason for that is because, and I'll be dead honest, there are hundreds and thousands of people up and down the country that have been getting labourers green CSCS cards and then going working as joiners, bricklayers, plasterers, plumbers, yeah. electricians. Right. Just to get on site. Just to get on site. Like just yeah. to pass the health and safety. Exactly. Basically. So yeah. now what they're saying is ah. your job must match your card. So right. if, if you are a labourer, you have to have a green card. And if you're a joiner, you shouldn't have a green card. Right. You need a level, a blue or a gold right. card. Right, so it's lads who haven't got the actual, they can do it, but they haven't got the quals. Oh, ladies. They need to, oh, yeah, but yeah. They, they need to do a, U, uh, yeah. a U-Power or something like that. So in a sense, it's a quick way of getting on so site. Basically, yeah. it's like that scene in Casino where he tells him... <laughs> it's exactly that. You don't have to be <laughs> Niro, the manager of the casino. Just say I love you're food working and beverage, in catering. Food and beverage. And beverage. Yeah. Yeah. You, that Direction. gets you in the casino. That's, that's what it yeah. is. I love it. Yeah, I love it. That's yeah. They put it in the bottom of the pile for five years. Yeah. Perfect yeah. analogy yeah. of what the green CSCS card yeah. is, uh, has, 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 been, has been happening to it, basically. Uh, a couple of other episodes. We had a really successful one, which was Tool Theft. 
Yes. Danny's, the most watched clip of the whole year, the whole season, was Danny's on a remote finding tools, um, like a, not like air a tracker. Tracker. Oh, like the, a tracker. Um, the, 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 the Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, the Milwaukee tracker, yeah. yeah. Which we, we've since found out, actually, that a lot of, a lot of, uh, the DeWalt's are doing it now. The other brands are doing it now. Yeah. Uh, which is a brilliant way of doing it. That one clip that did about, I think it was about 800,000 views. That hey. one clip. <laughs> Doing that for Curry tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, can so they keep spend, can they, if so, if they send more stuff, we get more money. Basically, yes. Yeah. Money, basically, <laughs> yes. No, we don't, obviously don't do it for that because we never thought this would ever be well, anything other than a chat amongst three lads, really. Not really. No, I'm joking. Not really like that. So the episodes that we did, we did family, uh, CSCS cards, UK house prices, construction marvels of the past. I just want diabetes was an episode, <laughs> um, which is where I think I talked about eating 17 cream eggs in a day. Um, everything and anything, mental health, Euro 2024, and of course, tool theft. Uh, there's about sort of 10, 12, 15 ish minutes left. I wonder if um, it might be possible, Danny. What gone? Just, just, a, just a quick one. Quick, quick. Very good question. This from the live. I have yeah. a question. I'm a full time employed as a carpenter. My work have given me a snag list, and my work want me to do it for free. Is this fair? Great question. A snag list. Uh, well, mm. if it's a snag list, then it's, it's part of the might price. be suggested if it's work that you've done already, but you fucked up. There's an argument slightly there, but if it's a general snag list, I'd say absolutely not. You want paying for that. Mm. You want paying Depends for that. The, just, just talking to the live and talking to the, the, the general mm. audience. So from January, we are 100% doing one night a week live. And when I say we, probably me, because I don't think you guys, you can come on it if you want to come on it. It'll be at my house in the uh, studio <laughs> in my house. <laughs> Um, and we'll also be doing which is something we've never done before, but we'll also be doing uh, live gaming one night a week as well from January onwards. Probably a bit of COD, a bit of Fortnite, a bit of uh, I don't know, a bit, a bit, just a bit of fun. Just if, a bit you, of fun. If, you, if you want to watch some just, funny, watch if you want to see Danny fly what, out what of about the red turn? zone. Um, yeah. and die straight away. What was that Daily Thompson game for the Commodore 64? No, Daily Andy, Thompson's he, Olympic. Andy, you're so old. Now do that one. So, the Spectrum. Uh, what was it? What, Spectrum. Uh, ZX Spectrum. ZX Spectrum. No, I have a game of Exploding Fist. Yeah, and the Amiga. Yeah, I have and a go at game of Exploding Fist. Yeah, and, and he's just so old. So that's what we're going to be doing for next year, as well as the 10, maybe 12 podcasts as well, individual. Before we finish today's episode, we've still got 10, 11 minutes. Should we bring our guest out? Let's welcome back to the podcast, Jacob. Woo! Woo! Jacob is back Woo! again. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's do one of these, Danny. Go on, you... you. <laughs> Yeah, that's a decent hey. one. Go on, Dan, you do All one. over Jay's face. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Hello. is back after... So Jacob did uh, nine episodes with us in the first season, basically. The Christmas one so as well. Christmas. Christmas. So yeah. ten, was it ten? Christmas. Was it ten? ten. Yeah. Was it ten episodes? Yeah. yeah. Jay, where have you been? Mate. What have you been doing? Uh, finished uni. I was a bit of a mature student. Got a first in digital marketing. Whoa. Yeah. Brilliant, mate. Uh, Brilliant. Brilliant. Jacob is was is the clever one, basically. Yeah. No, Andy's replaced me. That looks no, good. <laughs> well, we've but sort of replaced Jacob with two. With, with yeah. two, basically. <laughs> it's to balance we it out. We couldn't Jacob. find anyone as clever as <laughs> yeah. you, so we've it's got two. two. So the two yeah. minds of Jack and Andy hopefully make <laughs> your one mind, Brilliant. basically. You look a bit dishevelled there, Danny. You're I'm, right. No, I'm just. I'm really chuffed. You're emotional, it's aren't sentimental you? Because when we, you know, when we think back when we first started doing a few of these, we were. Sat in a room in Preston. We were, and yeah. we all mm. talked about it. We did the Euros. We did yeah. the, and it's just, it is lovely to we, see. We I sat mean, there I watching the views go up in hundreds, didn't we? Yeah, and, and we did. the, yeah. the nights we spent doing these together was such so yeah. much fun, mm. special, and, and really, really enjoyed. Yeah. and I worked with Jay for a couple of years, or maybe more. Yeah, yeah. 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 So first, so, yeah. oh, so congratulations on the uh, uni Amazing, degree. Mate. Honestly, well awesome. done. Second question for me is, would you have a sex bot if, um, if, if there was such a thing? He definitely Only if it were like So yes, he would basically. But just, yeah. you know, remember the conversations we had when we were doing um, the, in the first, in the first few pods, they were just great, great as well. And, yeah. And I've just realised you went to the toilet with your microphone on. Oh yeah, Judge. 
He actually did do that. I don't know if he's picked it up or not. On the right side. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. One more time. One more time. Who does number two work for? <laughs> Who does number two? Might have to add it. We can't add it. Okay. No, you can't. It's, 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 it's gone out now, Danny. It's, it's gone, gone out. Way, Danny. It's Chinese it's Communist Party. Yeah. Don't order that yeah. now. Yeah. No, but, that's, that, Jay, honestly, it's brilliant to see you. That? So, um, you're here tonight. I don't, obviously, won't sort of give anything away, anything like that, but you've, it's episode 20. You thought you'd come back and just say a quick hello, but I think maybe possibly something with you with the job that you're working on at the moment with a future podcast maybe yeah come to see king sol doing his thing absolutely so um, we, we need to actually give a shout out to sol, sol. yeah he's amazing <laughs> because yeah we're you know and and um we're kind of sort of saying how good we are but we couldn't do any of this without pi oh, pi radio yeah. and sol and Brilliant. the team at pi radio in Stockport, i i basically. genuinely love coming in not not just for this i've loved it personally just to come here so I feel yeah. safe, I feel secure, I feel yeah. nice, a, a nice, yeah. nice person to, to yeah. speak to. No, I, I agree. And the, yeah. the quality that they produce for us, unbelievable, you know, is absolutely fantastic as yeah. well. So we've got to say thank you to that. Yeah. I see, have we done this? What's everybody's favourite pie? Pie radio. Cream. Pie, pie radio. It's yeah. <laughs> a bit gay, that, Andy. Um, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you're going to say, you've got steak and ale. So, no, it's got to be lamb and, <laughs> lamb and mint pie. No, I'm going to say pork. I'm going like, like, to just say good. it. I'm going to say pork. Pork pie. Jack, favourite pie, go. Uh, cherry pie. Oh, you see, no, you've gone no, fruit. No, you've yeah. gone fruit. Yeah, you've got a uh, fruit. Yeah, it's it's a pie. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Sweet, yeah. so you've gone sweet. Oh, in that fruit. case then, maybe apple. Pork pie's great, but... Yeah, cherry pie. It's, it's lemon mint, lemon mint custard. Pie. Or right. ice cream Dave, we know why you like apple pie. Fuck it out. Yeah. Oh, and Danny, what you've always said about pie records, what they need to do. Pie radio. Pie radio. <laughs> no, pie radio. Th this is a present that I need to give them. Is yeah. these the I've said this. The microphone covers. Episode. The microphone covers needs to be shape of a pie. Of well, pie. Danny, it's been twenty episodes, two years, yeah. twenty. Actually, it's twenty-one episodes because we did do we did do an episode that we couldn't release because of, there was a slight sound issue. Yeah. So we has we have actually recorded twenty-one episodes, yeah. but this is our this is our official sort of twentieth episode. And you saw you said that on the first one. Right. Between now yeah. and January. Oh when, when we do our Sol, I hope one, you're listening to this. I'm gonna come in with a new year present for yeah. for for, Pi, for Sol yeah. and, and Pi Radio. And, and it's gonna be it's gonna a be microphone pie cover. A, a microphone pie cover. But I don't <laughs> I get an echo for the back by Dan shouting about you don't. He'll he'll try, 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 take a bite out of yeah. it. By the way, Dan is also joining us tonight. He's, he's a bit manager. shy. Manager. He's a he's a, he's a site manager. Wank, he's been on wanker. the podcast famous before on actually at Christmas <laughs> oh, yeah. episode ten. Yeah. He's very famous on Sky now. Uh, he's got like a I um, I actually you know in the first few episodes, Jay, you remember we, we talked to I I hate the site managers, I still do a little bit. And um what when, did you say then? I, I, I hate site managers. <laughs> yeah. Still, still doing, though. Mechanics as well, and painted decorators. You hate, you hate <laughs> painted decorators, site managers, and mechanics. You, you hate all three of them, don't yeah. you? And um, about three years ago, I was, I was visiting uh, in my job role, I was visiting someone. And when I turned up at this site, I was like, hey, you got to report to the office. Eh? And when I walked into the office to see the site manager, it's fucking him. Fucking Dan. It was Dan. <laughs> and he was like, make sure you saw your CSCS card. Is it in date? Is it a date? Fucking yeah. not coming have on you my had, side. Have you yeah. had your induction? Yeah. <laughs> and he was running the site. Wait a so, minute. Is that when you were filming up and told me exactly where it was because he still had the tracker on the van for yeah. the phone? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I was, uh, I, yeah, turned up. So there's a lot of history in this room, isn't there? There is. There is. There is. Yeah. Did you ever think, you two, I can ask you two specifically, but... You know, when we first, the idea was just to do a podcast because we thought there's nothing much about construction. But did you ever think we'd get to like 20 episodes and do like 20 episodes? And I'm not saying it's been like as successful as any other podcast, but it has, in our in our heads, in, in, in the reality is, has been quite successful. It has. Yeah, I'm proud of the fact that you've carried it on because we did, it took a lot of work just to even start, didn't it? Yeah, no, it and did. That, it yeah. did, Jay. Yeah, it did, I'm actually. I'm just learning how to do stuff, yeah. learning where to upload stuff. Yeah. Like that. So the fact that you've got, carried it on is brilliant. Yeah, I mean, I never did fucking anything at that bit. That was always you two. Still don't. Still I'm don't. still not doing I anything have either. I just turned yeah. off. <laughs> I only watched TikTok for the other things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he once messaged me one night and said, have you ever seen... <laughs> 
Was it, I think he messaged me and said, have you ever seen Mum Talk or something like that? It was. <laughs> Mum Talk. What's this? Well. He messed, no, it's nothing, it's nothing <laughs> like... Yeah, 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 I know, but... And he was like, for fuck's sake, Danny, you should be doing what I do, which is watching my episodes <laughs> back. <laughs> oh, there's me again! When Dave said, oh, hey, we've had so many views of this video, I'm like, I don't even know how to get on it. No. Yeah. Still don't. Jay, Just but, looking at your... Uh, going back to your AI stuff, something interesting. Yes. I kind of agree with what these two have said, mm. but... If you go back to about 2018, Peter, the animal people, yes, released a right. document advising people not to kick robots because they've got a fantastic memory. And you can really? read that online. Yeah. So, 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 future, so it's not AI. They're going to kick us back. So you mean like can, don't abuse the robots, yeah, essentially? Because one day they'll be able to think to themselves and they'll remember. Yeah. yeah. See, I because I've got this sort of thing that if I had a robot, I think I would shout at it yeah. and kind of... Maybe bully it a little bit, maybe. And I but, find myself but, saying thank you to Chat GPT. Well, they. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm not going to get it. Well, that's the thing. It. It's right. like, you know, can can you be disrespectful to a robot or can you be polite to a robot? Because it's a fucking robot. It's like saying thank you to your iPhone. But you say thank you to your iPhone. <laughs> 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 no, but you know what I mean? It's like, it's a bit like that, isn't it? So, I don't know. It's, it's it's that fine <laughs> yeah. line between it, a few times, you know, like obviously you never want to mistreat an animal and, or another human being, but then is it because we've made something we feel like we can do what we want to it? Yeah, is it is it actually something about our own? It's like a philosophical. It's question. very much Westworld. Yeah. Yes, it's very it says much more about that. yourself. Well, you, you know what goes on in Westworld. Looks like you, then it, then I yeah. should treat something. Yeah. Well, I I don't know what to say on that one because there's lots of all issues from Westworld, isn't there? Great program. Yeah. Brilliant program. Yeah. Um, well, the first series is the best. Jay, first so uh, plans for 2025? Anything anything of interest just before we sort of close the shop? and Getting a brand new kitchen, funnily enough. Nice. So right. Nice. Now right. then. Yes. Yeah. Who are you going to get to fit it? Make yeah. sure you get someone that you know and trust. Classic builders of Berry. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh is <laughs> I, I might, we might know him. Yeah. Does he talk about the price of pints in in, in pubs? Or in no, 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 no. Not that cowboy. Not that cowboy. No, no, some proper hey, guy. Hey, Should we give hey, him a hey. shout? Rick Should we give Rick Shaw a shout out? We love yeah. Rick, don't we? I I love him. I'd love, I'd we all love Rick Shaw. We all do. Anybody, you can't not love him. No. A famous, he's a famous joiner from uh, Bury Berry. Uh, he's a good guy. Yeah, good guy Rick, he's yeah. a great guy. So hey, yeah. Well, yeah so it's, it's all the same places. Uh, all the same difference. Um, <laughs> so. New kitchen, new house, mm. um, new job, new, new car. New no, I can't afford one of them. Not with these uh, yeah. interest rates. You know what they say are. about a new house, don't you? Know what the saying is, "New house, new baby." No, no. There's a wedding in 2026. Wait, that nice one. Stanky. April 2020. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Hey, that's brilliant, actually. Yeah. Brilliant, Jake. I was good. I, I was good. I missed yours because you. I was away when you. You had your stand. No, so we're no. Not I'm, making up today. No, no. It's no, fine, no, mate. Don't be daft. Yeah, um, just today. bear in mind if you do invite the Melias, seven of us will show up. <laughs> 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 and, and Rick, basically, yeah, and Rick, and Rick. And Oh, mate! Congratulations. That's brilliant. That's great. That is absolutely amazing. Um. I don't know. Anyone else got anything else to mention? Believe it or not, that's basically just sort of over an hour now. Anyone else? Have we missed anything for tonight? There's a few things that we've not really talked about, but um, uh, what's that, John? No, we're now, now we're okay with the, the, the agenda, so to speak. Oh, that's one, one last point. I think housing should be considered as infrastructure. Like roads, it's like vital. Totally agree. Great shout instead out. Of a commodity, yeah. Instead of a commodity, yeah. it should be yeah. infrastructure. Not like a luxury or anything. Yeah, yeah not like, like a, something. Yeah, like, so if they're building mm -hmm. roads, they're building houses. Should be building houses. Yeah, they yeah. proved like during COVID that they can pay for anything at yes. any time. Yeah, the way so, they can, they can be structured, yeah. Yeah, the finance, so, yeah. 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 Like I said, the only real wealth is people and the stuff that you make, the, yeah. the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack, maybe a final Trump? Uh, or are you not feeling it? Or uh, final? How's his, how's his presidency going to, you know, in January the 5th he starts, January the 6th? January 20th. January 20th, 20th. yeah. How tall is Baron? He's six foot five, isn't he? Nine. He's, he's big, six foot nine. nine. Yeah. He's like Keane. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a tall, he's a yeah. tall lad, yeah. Yeah. He's a very... Yeah. He's the next one. He's the, ne he's he's the, the next, he's next one, Trump he's president. He's the next Trump president. Yeah. 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 Elon. He's he'll he'll be next. Do you reckon Elon will be next? In about 12 to 16 years. Yeah. President of Mars. 
Yeah. yeah, and he'll have like all his aides. All no, he can't be robots. South African though. He can't be South robots. African, yeah. is he? Yeah, yeah. He's not, he wasn't born in America. He can't. Who can't? Elon is South yeah, he's African. South African originally. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. With English South parents, Africa. I think. Yeah. And he lived in Canada before. He... I didn't know that. I, didn't I know thought that. he was American. Well, he's no, been over there no, for yeah. 25, 30 years. I mean, so. Obama wasn't American, and he was. Um, <laughs> so they say. So they say. So they say. Arnold. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not funny. The only, the only black, <laughs> the only the black president. Chopper. The only time they ask for a birth certificate, I mean, it's a disgrace. That isn't it? Is that mm. true? Oh, well, there's a bit no, of Trump. It was Trump, well. innit? it? It was Trump who asked. Yeah, yeah no, it was. And, and I think there's also. Well, that was where it started. It was. It was where it started. There's a big theory on the internet as well about Michelle Obama. No, hundred percent. Oh no. Beautiful. No. She, ne- she should be the next, well, the, the she, first yeah, female like president. Yeah. Now, if she would have been running, boom, she'd have won. So you talk, you're talking about a woman she that's would. not worked in 20 years. No, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> well, ha- well, ha- well, hang on, hang on. This was the same thing with Hillary Clinton and Trump beat her. You know what? Another thing. He's run different against two different, women. All different breeds. First lady. He's run against she, two women. In she his, was his a career one. politician full yeah. of yeah. shite. She must not years. want it because they would have given it to her if she. Yeah, yeah. no, so she, she probably would have not. That's true. She's, yeah. she's, she's, not, she's probably got. She's yeah. obviously not interested. She, she's Why would you as well? It's it's about time they had a female president. It is. It's about time. No, I don't disagree with a female president. The theory is so they can prove that they'll do it as bad as the men do it. Well, Liz Truss. Oh, Liz Truss. Fucking hell! What a disaster she was. I'm oh, not, I'm not just on one more point on that is um, it's not rigged then is it if he's got in what well, well it was I, I'll say I'll say one thing on that how could it be I'll you know, say one thing because uh, the level of votes the Democrat candidate got over the last three or four elections have all been about 65 to 70 million right and Biden got 81 million so he got about he got about 15 million more than the person than the person before him yeah. and the person after him so I'm not saying anything happened but it is a little well, why didn't they think? Why, why didn't they rig it now then, Jack? Sleepy Joe. I think it was COVID. If, if, if there yeah, was any yeah, cover, I agree with that. There would have been any I know. Cover, I think COVID, COVID was the after effects, but I don't. I don't believe in. I, I'm not the, saying it did happen. I'm just rigging. saying that would be. Yeah. That's the only history does show that higher turnouts give a Democrat. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think yeah. I think people just. No, they I, went, I just they went believe they, they, they just. Went to Trump. Um, yeah. Well, they'll, they'll turn to Trump I hate to push this but we're going to wrap it up for the right. uh, for the evening guys um, what I would say is stay tuned for next year because you never quite know what's going to happen on this podcast you no. never quite know what we're going to talk about guest star I had a whole me. agenda and we've ended up talking about sex robots <laughs> and AI tonight and, and other weird stuff we've got a, uh, the brilliant Jacob's back for uh, 10 minutes uh, yeah thank you Jacob um, final word Andy um, the end. The no, end. No, 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 no it's pa- not the pa- end. Part two, t- part three coming soon. Yeah. Jack, final word? Uh, bring on season three. Bring on season three, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Jacob, final word for you for this episode? Anything? Um, just glad to be Amelia again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Danny? Uh, yeah. Season three. Looking forward to it. I am. It'd be different. I think it's been season two has been difficult. It has been difficult. Yeah. I don't mean what we've done. It's been a difficult yeah, year because of dad. And I think the new year, new start, yeah. new change. Yeah. Everyone listening new- is like, all right, we know your dad's dead. Actually, right? yeah. To be a sci- he died. Be a, all right. <laughs> to be a bit of a Star Trek nerd, third series is when it really got going. That's you know, what I'm saying. Voyager, yeah. Generation, DS9. Yes, that's when it. Yeah, yeah. That's when it really kicks yeah. off. Yeah. Series three. And it's and it's just cost us about a million views. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah. No. Um, yeah. You're absolutely right. So just a couple of things from me. Thank you to everyone listening and watching and following us this season and taking part. Thank you to everybody uh, at Pi Radio because without them, we couldn't do it. Genuinely couldn't. Um, thank you to all of you lot as well for joining joining in. Uh, it's nearly Christmas. Um, look out for our lives. We will promise you we will be doing our lives There over. is a live at Christmas. We will do a live. At, oh, there is a live at Christmas. On the 28th of December... We will be doing a live from Weatherspoons in Hazel Grove. We all know what that means. For about an hour. Um, so, so, yeah, well, yeah. everyone's welcome. <laughs> we'll be at the Hazel Grove Weatherspoons in Stockport on the 28th of December for our Christmas do. Um, and we will be going live from there. Um, other than that, just thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Can't wait for next season because I think there's going to be even more things going on. And um, that's basically it. Thank you very much, everybody, and good night. We'll see you next year. See you Done. Next year.